Hey all, in this video we're going to be having a look at my ball return module, which you can see running behind me. Uh, the module itself is made up of a bowl, uh, a spinning sign, uh, and a couple of standard mechanisms that have been modified to support it. Uh, but first things first, let's have a look at the module running, uh, and then after that uh, we'll have a closer look at the individual parts that makes the whole thing up. There are four main parts that make up the my ball return. The first is the ball. Uh, we then have the sign behind it. And we have this input modification of a brick wall ball pump. And we have this output, which is the modification of a GBC Donahue. Uh, and these actually represent the phases in terms of building it. So I started by building just the ball and then decided that was a little bit boring. Uh, and it needed a sign, so then I worked out how, then I worked on the sign and built the sign up. Um, but this doesn't make a module, just the ball and the sign. This just gives people a way to, you know, drop a ball in uh, and return it in into the loop. To actually turn it into a module, I added both the input ball pump over here, which pumps the balls up and puts them into the module. Uh, and this ramp is designed to basically make the balls do a spinning pattern. Um, and then we have this last module over here, uh, and its main purpose is actually just so that the next module isn't covered by this module. Because although this output uh, on the input is directly, um, puts it back in line, uh, a module behind it wouldn't be visible. So I created this long chain lift so that people can still see it. So let's pull off the ball pump and have a close look at that. So this is a, for all intents and purposes, this is a vanilla Brickwell ball pump. Uh, all the mechanism from here up to here, which is the standard instructions, uh, are basically just straight off the instructions. And all I've really done to this is I've had some tubes to extend it right up. Uh, there's a little bit of bracing here and around the back that just stop the tube from falling off and obviously an output ramp. Um, so, uh, that's a really simple mod. You can do a lot of things with a brick well ball pump and in this case I chose it specifically because I knew it was a reliable module and what I wanted the focus to be was on the return, not necessarily on the module that was lifting balls up to, for them to drop into it. All right, uh, let's have a look at the output now. All right, 
So this is based on a GBC Donahue, but it's a lot longer. The original Donahue is about this long and a little bit, a little bit taller. So I've lengthened it out. I've made it longer. I've flattened it out a little bit um, because I didn't. I only you still only need the same output height, which is enough to get it into ten bricks. Um, but one of the key things about this module is the bottom of this ramp is actually pivoted. It's the drive axle off the bottom. So I did a few modifications in here so that it wasn't on one side. It's a little bit more supported. Uh, and it also has these br brackets here, which help support it. Because otherwise it's basically, you would have this axle here. You'd have a little bit of a, oh, let me get that on the screen. You'd have your pivot axle here. You'd have another one here. And all this lever force is putting extra load on the drive axle. Um, the last thing I always do with these modules is I always swap them out to use a modern bevel set. Um, advantages of bevel gears is if you plug it in and it is running the wrong direction, you can just flip that to the other side. Uh, so that's the output, and its whole job is just to clear this, clear this mechanism so that the next module is not hidden behind it. All right. All right, let's have a look at the sign now. I'll just unclip that here. So the sign is driven by a mechanism on the side, and I'll show you that once I get the sign off. So the inspiration for the sign is I was on holiday and saw one of these old billboards. Billboards all used to be like this, um, where you would have, they would print basically a different ad on, on like a three-sided or, I think they did a few different sides over the times. Nowadays, everything is LED based, so they can put anything out or just traditional poster base. But seeing one of these signs was a real inspiration. So I definitely wanted this idea where, let's get back to the start, where it said ball return. And then I had a hand holding a ball, and then I had a hand dropping a ball into a blue bowl. Um, not everyone has got the visualization, I had to explain it. Um, so if we can get, let's see if we can get, so these are basically triangles uh, made up, um, and I've used the little one by one Technic bricks, a whole bunch on the inside to pin them. Uh, they're not, it's quite a fragile mechanism. It's a little bit frustrating to have to repair it at times. Um, but yeah, it works quite well. Um, so in order to drive this mechanism, I need something that had a timing of three, that sort of click round at an interval, so sort of pause, move, pause, move. Uh, and that's what's on this mechanism on the side, on the base. So if I lift this up, we get this, oh, we get this in a little bit closer. So this mechanism here is what provides the timing. If I put a bit of an angle, you can see. So there's a couple of things going on here. So one is the motor turns this mechanism here. Um, so this turns all the time. So we've got this drive chain through here, which is turning all the time and turning this little cam over here. And as this cam gets pushed out of the way, it allows this to rotate. So I'll just turn it by hand again so we can see another cycle go through. And there we go, it's lifting this lever over here. And then it clicks back and Moving this out of the way allows this to move around. So it is a little bit of abuse of a clutch gear in terms that it spends a lot of its time just sitting there sliding. But at the same time, there is almost no load to turn the sign. It's very free moving. So um, even if the clutch gear wears down a bit, it's still gonna work fine for a long time. Uh, one of the advantages of this style of kind of delay mechanisms is I can do sort of a few different multiples. I can do a multiple of three, a multiple of two, or a multiple of one just by changing the number of levers I have on here. Um, and if I wanted to make it faster or slower, then I'd just be changing this little gear ratio around here. Um, oh, and so last thing first is the bowl. Um, so these are the old, uh, well, kind of skate ramps that Lego produced at some point, part of some old sports sets. They came in blue and white. Uh, the white is exceptionally rare. Uh, I've seen a really clever mod, a mock, where someone has made a flushing toilet using the white ones. Uh, very clever. Uh, I think it's uh, Great Ball Pit did that module. Um, you can certainly check a video of that out on his channel. Um, but yeah, at its principle, and, and this idea is certainly an original. I'd certainly seen this around where someone had made a, a bowl out of it. Um, and then, yeah, it just drops down the middle, and we have this little output ramp here, which, um, so you can actually just use this by itself. Um, but I built this and felt it was a little bit boring. So that's when I sort of added the extra components. I added the 
at a sign so that people can read it and then turned it into a full-blown module by extending a couple of known modules, the Brickwell ball pump uh, and a GBC Donahue to add some flair to it. So that was an overview of my ball return, great ball contraption module. I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to making more.